Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Vita Luca, and I think you can tell what we're doing today. So I ordered about 12 wigs from Wish, and also some wig tape, as well as uh, little wig holders. So let's just speak about this first. So this um, comes in a package like this, and then you build it into this, and it just holds your wig for you. Actually does a pretty good job. I'm just gonna leave it in the background here. Just gonna leave it in the background here, and um, I can show you how well it works. That was free plus shipping. All you had to do was pay for shipping to get that, and it's not bad if you set it up properly because you do have to assemble it yourself. But boy, do we got a video. So I do have three wigs that didn't get here. I just requested my refunds on them because I am so impatient for waiting because with Wish, things take a while and I get it. And then the only reason why I still use the platform is because if you don't get your product or you get a really crappy product, you can get a refund. And with this, I'm missing three wigs. One's super expensive, one's an extension, and the other one was a free wig that I really wanted to see because from what I saw in the reviews, thing had great reviews, but the photos that I saw people post were like awful looking, but for some weird reason they loved it. So that's on them. They loved it. I thought it looked horrendous. So I really wanted to see what you actually get for a free wish wig, especially since that was the cheapest wig. And if you didn't get it for free, then it was only like $3. So I really wanted to see what it was like. I'm going to be having all the photos of the wig come up here. Um, so it'll be a screenshot of the ad. So you'll see what they're advertising the, wish, the wig for, as well as um, the store that it came from and how much it cost me in Canadian dollars. And so then you can see kind of like your price range. And I've got tea on some of these, just on a few. So I'm gonna pick random wigs. I got them all sitting here. I'm gonna just pick a random wig and we're gonna see what happens. By the way, I do have to admit, all these wigs came with wig caps, either a hairnet or the actual thing. I put on a hairnet first and then put on an actual wig cap just to really flatten it out because I didn't do braids or anything like that. I figured this would be the way to get my hair down to be the flattest. And so I did also order four more wig caps thinking that I wasn't gonna get any. And like one company gave me two per wig and then other companies gave me either the netted one or one of these ones within it. So I'm like, I don't even need it. Even if they didn't advertise that you were getting a wig cap. So we're leaving my favorite wig for last because it is bomb. It's not even that. It's the best looking thing ever. It's my favorite wig. I have worn it so many times, now I'm just putting it on and dancing around. I forgot, it came packaged in a bag. Um, but it's this really beautiful black to blue wig. Now what was really interesting about this wig in particular um, was that the store that was advertising this wig was also using the same advertisement of another wig store and so I ordered from both stores to see what you would get and if one was crap and one was better. Um, this wig has no clips inside but a band at the back. So let's put her on. So I'm not going to be putting these on properly, like where I'm going to be gluing them down or, you know, doing up the band or anything like that. And I have my camera facing forward so I can see what I'm doing and where I'm placing the wig because I don't have a mirror in my house except for in my hallway. But just so you can get a closer look at it, it's pretty decent. Obviously this is really, really fake and I will have to fix it, but like it has big voluminous curls. Give you a little turn around. Big voluminous curls. I think I would have to definitely uh, straighten out the wig and recurl it just because these curls don't fit me, and I would also probably, if I was ever actually going to wear this, turn it into more of like a side part. Oops. Yeah, okay, we can go that way. 
but I would turn it more into like a side part and restyle the hair so that you know it like goes comfortably over on this side or vice versa just because it makes it look a little bit more realistic when you do side parts with really fake wigs also let me get a hat and then you can see you can always just put a hat on it and all of a sudden it looks a lot better and for me I noticed that I don't really look good with black wigs so I think this looks much better for myself I would just have to really get like devolumize on the curls because these are like way too big for my little face but then also throw the wig holder so we're gonna just leave that one chilling in the background I bought five of those which is good because I only have about like five good wigs here and then I ordered three more to come as well that came from a really good company that I really liked who had four point seven stars for their store in general and then both their wigs have like 4.9 like all of their wigs have 4.9 and they're all lace front they're all also super expensive so that one was more expensive than the company that was advertising all of the exact same wigs now i would have gone i would have ordered the exact same wig but then i didn't want to have two of the same wig so that's why i did my a background so these two came with this kind of hairnet, the netted one. Um, but here's another wig. This one, same advertisement, different companies that were showing it. And for different prices. This one was like a dollar or two cheaper than from this company for all of their wigs. So we'll get this on. So here's this one. This one has a lot of hair and I can't really get it to stay on my head that well. But yeah, there's a lot of hair here, like a lot. I also have a photo of me wearing this too. But yeah, a lot of hair in this one. It's very, very long. Ombre is like okay, we done. Still kind of fun. I do kind of wish it just went from black to purple instead of with the weird gray bit here and there, but I guess it's to make it look more realistic. So yeah, and just do that and so with the hat on. Doesn't look too bad. You can um, judge this for yourself if they are good or bad wigs in your opinion. In my opinion, both of these are pretty decent. Um, I do have to admit, they are synthetic. They don't feel that bad. They kind of just feel like really dry hair. But um, I will be putting Coco and Eve in like all of these to see what happens. Um, but yeah, both of these I forgot to mention. Um, they do feel synthetic. They're not extremely plasticky. They just kind of feel like they need a good conditioner to be put in them, that's all. That's really what's wrong with these two. Um, personally though, I think I would order from this company. I think they did a better job on the transition of the color through the hair. But this one was cheaper and it's, it's not that bad. You definitely got more hair here. I'm pretty sure they're the hair length was supposed to be the same. So it's up to you on which company you would like to go for. Personally though, I wouldn't order from either of these, but if I were to choose one, I would choose this one and pay a little bit more. But we're gonna move on. Oh, and so you can know that this can also hold the weight of this wig as well. And then you can see some of their little ombre going through that wig. Well, yeah, this one definitely should have been more purple, less silver, but now this one came from a company that literally had those amazing reviews that I mentioned. This is one of the ones that came from there. I have two and I ordered three more. 
So it's a lace front. And this is about $50 with the shipping. It was about uh, $30, but you'll see here. And then with shipping, shipping on this is $16. So yeah, it is a lace front. I'm gonna cut off the lace and we're gonna see what it's like. This wig has combs on the inside. I don't even know if you can see that. But um, within the cap, there are combs. So this one will stay on your head better than like a different one. But yeah. So this one's got a lot of hair. And personally, I don't think this color looks that great on me. So I'm not a huge, a huge fan of the wig in that sense. But like there's a lot of hair here. And like, it's not that bad. Like, this is definitely one of the better wigs that I've received. It's just not one of my favorite wigs, just due to the color situation. And you know what? I might do something with it and try to change it. We'll see. But mainly, my color issues up at the root. I don't think I look good with black hair. But, you know, this isn't that bad. And just having the gray. And, yeah. It's a lace front, so it does look a little more realistic. Uh, this one, I really need to brush it, um, but it felt the nicest out of all the wigs at one point. Now it feels like dry hair, just because I really need to go through here with a comb. This one I went and played around in with it. Same with the other one that came from this company. This one is from uh, Sapphire Wigs and like, 4.7 rating as the store as well as like almost five stars on both of these wigs and they are on the more expensive side but like they're good if they're your coloring they're perfect um we're gonna go on to another really expensive wig that would have been amazing if it didn't have this one problem but i'm gonna show it to you it's a lace front it's gorgeous. It's like really decent for a wig. It comes braided. This is like a 28 inch wig. They didn't put anything on the inside so the head did get a little flat. Oops. So yeah, the head did get a little flat. It is like a little light back there. But you know, if you had black hair, it really wouldn't matter. You wouldn't be able to tell. Um, or even a black cap on. But issue with this wig here was $55 is this. This is the most that it goes on my head. It is so small. It even has baby hairs, but guess what? You won't be able to get it on because the cap is so small. So, if you want to see me destroy this wig, we can definitely do that because my plans for this is to take out the braids and maybe dye whatever's blonde to something else and see what happens, see if it can take dye. I don't know, but I was thinking about revamping it a little bit and doing it differently and seeing what happens, seeing what it'll look like, turning it into something weird because I had to get a full refund on this about $55 wig just because it's too small and doesn't fit my head. And I have a really tiny head, as you can see. Like, my head is small. But yeah, this is for like children. And everybody, everybody, here's the tea. Everybody's like, oh, this wig is so great, thank you. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Yeah, none of them put it on their heads. They're just taking photos of it being like this. Yes, it's amazing. Oh, it's in the wrapper. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, did you ever try it on? Did it actually fit? No one's wearing it in the photos. Pretty sure that's because it's extremely small. And so I don't have any children, friends out here. Heck, I could give this to my sister, but I'd rather make a YouTube video about me destroying a wig from Wish. If you want to see that video, let me know because it's going to come out of the way. This one is interesting. So now this one, 
I'm not even sure if it is this wig. I'm really not sure. But out of all the wigs that I ordered, it can only be that one. And that was like a $13 wig, right? Well, let me show you what I got. Here's this. Here it is in its glory. Let me turn around for you. 13 or so dollars plus shipping. Looks absolutely nothing like the photo. And look at the ombre here. It's supposed to be a dark root to blonde. I have a feeling that I'm going to just end up pulling out all of the black hairs and seeing how this looks as a blonde wig. And I'm going to like straighten this because this is like awful curling. Like completely awful for curls. And I did request a refund for this because it looks absolutely nothing like the photo. Like at all. I thought I was going to get this really nice brown wig. No, I get a um, really bad black to blonde. We are almost done. Three more to go. Actually, I put this one on. Two more to go. So here's this one. It's a really uh, beautiful teal color. It kind of comes up blue. Um, but yeah, my camera, it's just, it's more of a blue. But it's, it has a hint of green to it. But yeah, this one, this one isn't too bad. Again, this one's part's a little fake. It's, um, it's pretty soft. It's, it, they're all synthetic. They all feel somewhat synthetic. But um, they are on the softer side, so it's not like, yes, it's plastic. You can tell it's plastic. But I'm pretty sure. Uh, is this it or a different wig? Oh, it's it. Yeah, they all shed a little bit too, but don't we all? Like, I shed so much that I want a wig. But then wig shed. And so I'm like, huh, same mess. But yeah, this one... This one's pretty decent. You'll probably see me wear this in a video. You'll probably see me wear all of these in a video because now that I bought them, well, I'm going to be using them. And um, the whole reason why I wanted to buy wigs was to wear them in my videos because I hate my real hair. Like how short it is. Like some days I want short hair and other days I want long hair. And so, yeah. I just need to figure out what to do with my eyebrows to turn them from a blondie brown to a black. And then maybe, maybe this will look okay. Well, black is a lot easier to do than like this blue color. But yeah, so this one came like in this really, really tall packaging. Well, they just put the hairnet up here. So it let all of this become a massive mess of frizz and messiness. And so with that, it was awful. And I got a refund on it. And the kicker, because it did come with a hairnet, the kicker of this wig is that it smells so bad. And it's supposed to look like this. Hi. I'm looking over uh, from Wish to just get the ads so that we can add them into the video later. And I noticed this came up uh, for the really cheap wig. And, um, yeah, so it's being under review. So I'm going to find another one that had a similar advertisement, um, but it is a different company as this one is currently under review, and I'm guessing Wish will be getting rid of them. And it just smells so gross. Like, I don't want to put it on my head, but this was a $6 wig, so it is the cheapest wig that I have right now. And I am dying to put cocoa and even to this to make it smell better. I might fix the part of it. I might straighten it and do something with it. Um, I don't want to wear it for very long because the smell is still there. It's just not as bad as when I first got it. It smelled like, like a factory. Like it was awful. I think this is gorgeous. It's a lace front. Start cracking it, sorry think this, yeah. I think this wig is just gorgeously beautiful. It's lace front. I've been dying to cut off the lace to wear this because I love just doing this with it. It's a little tangly because I literally put this on so much because like, bam, like, 
just, I wish I had this much hair. I wish, like I love this color. And like, heck, I think I look really good in orange. But we'll cut off the lace. Oh yes, this one also has clips inside. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just the two lace fronts that have the clips. But like this one just comes on so easily. But like, look at that. Because there's like no real part, it just looks like magically amazing. And don't mind my really quick, my really quick cut job on that lace. But like, yeah, because there's no real part, you can really do whatever you want throw on a hat and now it's like bam I have all this gorgeous orange hair so this one is my absolute favorite I I love this because I want this like actual amount of hair I have so many styles that I can turn this into it feels really nice to just like dry regular human hair put a conditioner in this I can see it feeling like real hair no problem same with the that wig as well same company but yeah, this one's my favorite. I've been dying to put this on. I haven't brushed it either because, well, I've been putting it on quite a bit and I didn't want it to like look better than the rest just because I did brush it out. But yeah, I've been loving this. And yeah, there is really no real part here. The hair kind of just goes everywhere, which you can do with your regular hairline. But yeah, I definitely gotta like figure something out, see what to do. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite wig by far. I just got to clean it up a little bit and it will be amazing. But yeah, that's everything. You'll be seeing all these wigs very shortly throughout my random videos that'll be coming out next. Also to be used in videos as either me wearing it or they're actually going to be a focus on me fixing them or doing something with them, doing something to them, like I mentioned previously through here. But thank you for watching, and we'll see you again because I'll probably have a part two if I ever get those other wigs.